There are many ways we could compare the number of students in Mr. Lee and Mrs. Hall's classes. For example, we could compare the number of girls in Mr. Lee's class to the number of girls in Mrs. Hall's class. Mrs. Hall's class has five girls. If we add four more girls, we would get nine, which is the same number of girls in Mr. Lee's class. Therefore, Mr. Lee's class has four more girls than Mrs. Hall's class. We could also compare the number of girls in Mr. Lee and Mrs. Hall's classes using subtraction. Mr. Lee's class has nine girls, and if we took away four girls, we would get five, which is the same number of girls in Mrs. Hall's class. Therefore, Mrs. Hall's class has four less girls than Mr. Lee's class. A third way we can compare the students in these classes is by comparing the number of boys and girls in Mr. Lee's classes. Mr. Lee's class has six boys, and if we added three more students, we would get nine, which is the same number of girls in Mr. Lee's class. Therefore, Mr. Lee's class has three more girls than boys. Again, we can compare these same students using subtraction. Mr. Lee's class has nine girls, and if we took away three students, we would get six, which is the same number of boys in Mr. Lee's class. Therefore, Mr. Lee's class has three less boys than girls. You may have thought of other number of sentences to compare the number of girls and boys in Mr. Lee and Mrs. Hall's classes. These are just a few examples. Now we're going to look at even more ways we can compare the students in these classes using different types of number of sentences. Ashley, Diego, and Jack are making statements about the number of students in their class. Ashley says, Mr. Lee's class has three more girls than boys. Diego says, three-fifths of the class is girls. Jack says, the class has two boys for every three girls. Which student or students do you agree with? Explain why you agree or disagree with each statement. What are the similarities and differences between each student's sentence? Explain your thinking. 